Hi, I'm Doug Feldman with Rosenbauer. We're going to walk around the first in the world electric fire truck. Uh, I'm going to start in the front of the truck. This is where the ignition and pump panel, a lot of departments in North America like to have a front discharge. This is their ignition and pump panel. You'll also notice on the mirrors on this truck, <clears throat> there are no mirrors that stick outside the width of this truck. They're all electronic. This camera here gives you a nice shot of what's in front of you. That's your rear view camera. This location here is for shore power. Uh, it's enclosed, but the shore power would hook up here if you need to regenerate your battery on site. Each compartment has electronically controlled roll-up doors. They could be manual or, or, or electronic. And you'll notice this unit is not as long as most in the U.S., so they have to really you know, engineer the compartmentation on a truck to, to take utilization of every cubic feet. So it's very common to have pull-out trays or we can mount equipment. Here's another pump panel. These are electronic or LCS 2.0 pump panels. They can be mounted anywhere on the truck. A lot of departments are gonna have one in the front and then rear discharges, there'll be another pump panel. One nice thing about this truck is its ability to, to go six inches off the ground all the way to 20 inches off the ground. One of the design features is ergonomic to, to eliminate back injuries. You can tell how, how friendly this is to grab these heavy tools off by having a low center or a low grab height. As you can see now, the truck is lowering to six inches off the ground. Rosenbauer has done lots of research and, and going out 20, 30 years, and our population is getting older, and there's more and more female fighters coming in the industry and we were trying to eliminate back injuries. That's why we're bringing this down six inches off the ground. Another goal we have is to keep firefighters off the, type, the top of the vehicle. So you see these two trays here. These are gonna slide out and then roll down at an angle. Uh, some departments would put a backboard or Stokes basket here, or maybe hard suctions, and this would be their ladder storage. And again, our, our goal is to keep people off the top of the fire engine. This is a signboard. It could be anything you want to put in there or just like a, a traditional traffic advisor, left and right arrows. A lot of departments would put a message in there though. This is a very large rear compartment and most of the departments we're working with now are going to make this their hose bed. Again, it's extremely um, ergonomically friendly height. So there would be a rollout tray here pull it out, reload your hose, and then slide it back in. It could be used for a lot of things, but most departments are using this for a hose bed storage. As you can see, almost every compartment is laid out ergonomically friendly. We have to utilize every cubic feet of the truck, and you can see the layout here. It's almost like it's ne we nest this equipment in here to make sure we utilize the space. Another unique feature is that we have the ability to run really any water tank size you would prefer. This is a this is a 500 gallon water tank. It can go up to a thousand gallons. Obviously, as you get a larger water tank, you lose compartmentation and the wheel mace will get longer. The pump we have on this one is the Rosenbauer NH750, but we could put in a 1250 or 1500 gallon water pump if requested. Here's another shot of the rear view mirrors. Again, our goal here is to keep this very narrow. This truck here is 92 and a half inches wide. Most conventional type one apparatuses are 99 to 100 inches wide. In cities like San Francisco and Menlo Park have a difficult time getting around streets with a 100 inch wide chassis. This also has all steer um, that engages when you're less than 10 or 12 miles an hour, again, to help you maneuver corners. Another thing we've done as Rosenbauer is, is try to keep this unit quiet. We did some pump testing in Los Angeles City earlier this week, and the only additional noise you're gonna hear is the water flow for, through the hose. It's entirely run by the electric motor, so there is no noise. This was developed four to five years ago as a concept. We've now taken it to the next level. A lot of these features that were presented to the fire industry are now taking off. We will be producing these on our case-by-case uh, -case basis starting next year. There'll be three of these at inner shoots that are completely finished. Thanks for your time.